In Prime Infrastructure, on the Inventory menu, click Software Images. The Software Images page opens. To add Software Image Management or Swim servers, click Add Server. The Software Image Management Servers page opens. On the toolbar, click Add Role. In the list, the system adds a blank, editable role. In the Server Name field, type a descriptive server name as you want it to appear when a user sees it when configuring a distribution job. In the IP Address field, type the Swim Server's IP address. The Active Protocols field is not available for editing when you initially configure a Swim Server. You configure the protocol in a later step. In the Site Served drop down list, Select the location group that contains the devices to which you want the server to distribute the image. To add an explanation of the server's use, type it in the description field. Below the row, click Save. The system adds the server in the list and selects the server row automatically. This action makes the Manage Protocols button available on the toolbar. On the toolbar, click Manage Protocols. The Software Image Management Server Protocols dialog box opens. In the dialog box, on the toolbar, click Add Role. A row becomes editable in the list and indicates an available protocol in the Protocol drop down list. In this case, you need to configure the SFTP protocol so you can accept the default selection. Important note. For better reliability and security when distributing software images by using SWIM servers, use the SFTP or SCP secure protocol. Avoid using the FTP protocol unless necessary because of the device type. The system does not support using the TFTP protocol when distributing images by using SWIM servers. Note, future releases of Prime Infrastructure will support the TFTP protocol. In the Username and Password field, type the credentials to access the server. In the Protocol Home Directory field, type the location of the home directory on the server. Click Save. The system saves the entry and selects the row automatically. This action makes the toolbar buttons available. To test whether the server credentials are valid, on the toolbar, click Verify Credentials. The system runs the verification and reports the verification results in the status column. To add another protocol, click Add Role and then Add and Verify each protocol that you need. To continue, close the dialog box. The system saves the protocols for the server. Continue to add the swim servers that you need. With the swim servers added to the system, you now need to import the software image. To continue, in the name path, click the Software Images link. The system returns you to the Software Images page. To import a software image, click the Add Import icon. The Import Images dialog box opens. On the Source page, select the location that houses the image file that you need. To continue, click 2. Collection Options. The Collection Options page opens and, based on the source location that you select, provides the applicable navigation to the file location. To import a file from a location that the system can access, browse to and select the file. With the file selected, click 3. Schedule. The Schedule page opens. In the Job Name field, type a descriptive name for the Swim Collection job so that users can recognize its use. In the Start Time row, indicate when you want the image import to occur. To schedule the job, click Submit. When you submit a 
swim collection, job, the system starts or schedules it, based on the job start time. In this case, you are importing the image immediately, so the system begins uploading it. When upload is complete, the system then copies the image, to the server. When the copy is complete, the dialog box closes automatically. And in the list of swim jobs, in the status column, the system reports, the job results. With the image imported into the repository, verify that the minimum requirements for the software image upgrade, are configured. For more information, refer to the, upgrading small numbers of devices use case in the job aid, or watch the video. After confirming that the software image minimum requirements are configured, you can distribute the image, to the swim servers. To configure the image distribution job, click the distribute icon. The distribute images dialog box opens. The image selection page lists all of the images, that are available in the repository. In the list, select the image that you want to distribute to the swim servers, in preparation for activation. Click, 2, Device Selection. The Device Selection page opens, and lists the network devices that are eligible, to receive the image. Expand a category, and select the devices to which you need the system to distribute the software image. As you select the devices, the system automatically verifies that the devices, can accept the distribution. And selects the device check boxes. Click, 3. Distribute image. The distribute image and location selection page opens, and lists the devices that you selected. The wizard provides this page so that you can review the details of the upgrade, before deployment. During your review, you can validate. That the list includes the devices, that you want to upgrade. That each device indicates the image file name that you expect the system to distribute. The location on each device where the system will store the image and the file server that will be used to distribute the image. Note, when the system distributes images to swim servers, the distribution action to each swim server occurs only once. The system determines distribution to each swim server based on the first device in the list that the system identifies as associated to that swim server by using the location group. Then, the system prompts the devices to copy the image from the designated swim server, to the designated storage location. To continue, click, 4, Image Deployment. The Image Deployment Options page opens. The options can vary based on specific distribution or activation scenarios. Important note, an administrator can configure global settings that define enterprise preferences for image deployment options. The settings that you configure here override the global settings that administrators have defined. For more information, refer to the Cisco Prime Infrastructure 3.1 Administrator Guide. To configure distribution options and advanced job options. To archive the current running image, select the backup current image checkbox. To erase temporary or unused files, to make flash space available on devices, select Erase flash before distribution. Important note, when you are upgrading stack devices, such as certain Cisco Catalyst, and Cisco ME3600 switch devices, the system distributes the image, to all flash instances. When you need to use the, erase flash before distribution, option in this case, the system only erases the main flash memory, or flash 1, on the device. If you need to make space available for the image on flash 2, you must erase the memory manually. If Flash 2 does not have enough capacity to store the image, distribution to that device, will fail. 2. Allow the process to continue when the system fails to distribute the image to a device, except the default selection of the Continue on Failure checkbox. With the Distribution option selected, click 5. Schedule Distribution. On the Schedule Distribution page, in the Job Name field, Type a descriptive name for the swim distribution job so that users can recognize its use, when reviewing the list of swim jobs. In the start time row, indicate when you want the image distribution to occur. In this case, you schedule the distribution to occur, during an upcoming maintenance window. 
To schedule the SWIN distribution job, click Submit. The dialog box closes, and a system message opens, confirming that you have scheduled the SWIN distribution job. The system starts the job by following the schedule. To monitor job status, you can click the link in the system message. You also can refresh the list to see the job and its current status. You can continue to refresh the list or click the Run ID link to monitor the job status. When image distribution is complete, the job results are available in the status column. After establishing that the distribution job is successful, you can activate the software image on the devices. Tip When you are performing the distribution and activation processes as separate jobs, it is best practice to ensure that the image distribution job is complete before you start the activation process. That way, you can evaluate the distribution job status and results to identify or address any distribution failures. You also can initiate the activation process by using the distribution job as we illustrate in this use case. If distribution failures have occurred and you activate using the completed distribution job, the system will activate the image only on those devices for which the distribution job was successful. To configure the activation job, click the Activate icon. The Activate Images dialog box opens. The system selects the Activate from Library option by default. To activate an image by using a completed distribution job, click Activate from Completed Distribution Jobs. The wizard steps change to support the activation source that you select. To continue, click 2 Job Selection. The job selection page opens and lists all of the completed distribution jobs. In the list, select the distribution job that contains the image that you want the system to activate. To continue, click 3 Activate Preview. The device selection page opens and lists the devices on which the system will activate the image. In the list, select each device that requires image activation. To continue, click 4 Activate Job Options. The Activate Job Options page opens. On the Activate Job Options page, Select the Insert Boat Command checkbox. Important note, in this case, you plan to activate the image in bundle mode, so you must select the Insert Boat Command checkbox for the activation process to occur successfully. If you do not select the checkbox when using bundle mode, the device will reboot its current running image rather than the upgraded image. When you select the Insert Boat Command checkbox, the Activate Options drop-down list becomes available. Select whether to activate the image sequentially or in parallel. Note, in sequential activation, the system reboots one device at a time. When the system determines that the device is up and in a running state, it reboots and monitors each subsequent device individually until the job is complete. In parallel activation, the system reboots all of the devices at once and then validates that each is up and in a running state. Important note, when a single activation job includes core devices, consider activating those devices sequentially to avoid losing device connectivity. When devices do not have dependencies for connectivity, such as devices on the network edge, you can activate those devices in parallel. Because you are upgrading Catalyst 3850 switches, you need to select the device upgrade mode based on the mode in which the devices are running. For more information on activation modes, refer to the Upgrading Devices on Distributed Networks use case in the job aid. In the Device Upgrade Mode drop down list, select the device's running mode. For more information on activation modes, refer to the Upgrading Devices on Distributed Networks use case in the job aid. To allow the activation process to continue when an image fails to activate on a single device, accept the default selection of the Continue on Failure checkbox. To continue, click 5. Schedule Activation. 
this schedule activation page opens. In the job name field, type a descriptive name for the swim activation job so that users can recognize its use when reviewing the list of swim jobs. In the start time row, indicate when you want the image activation to occur. To schedule the job, click Submit. The system follows the schedule to run and complete the swim activation job. When image activation is complete, the system indicates the job status in the status column. By reviewing the results, you can validate whether the activation process was successful. To review job details in the status column, point to the information icon beside the status. The job summary pop-up window opens and provides an overview of the job results. To review the results at a device level, you can click Job Detail View. Note, the Job Detail View is particularly helpful when evaluating partial success and failure results. To validate that the image that you activated is running on a specific device, open the Network Devices page. In the list, locate and click an Upgraded Devices name link. The system opens detailed information about the device. Click the Image tab. The page displays the current running image on the device. You successfully upgraded the software image on geographically distributed devices by using Swim servers.